Okay, so let's jump in and use the Squarespace scheduling tool to create bookings, uh, to take bookings and collect payments for your upcoming events. Now, I'm currently using one of my pre-designed websites here. I already have an events page set up, which you can see here. So I suggest if you haven't already done that yet, you may wanna go ahead and create your events page and add your events onto that page. If you're not sure how to do that, there's plenty of tutorials out there online on how to do this or reach out and I can help you do that. Okay, so from the back end of your site here, you wanna go across to the scheduling tool. Now you can start with a 14 day free trial and then there is a monthly or annual ongoing fee for the Squarespace scheduling tool. Once you're in the back end here, we're going to, I'm going to take you through the base settings. There's heaps of settings within here that you might want to explore and look at, but I'm going to just take you through the very base ones that are going to, going to get you up and running with taking those bookings and taking payments for your online classes and events. So first thing you want to do is go to payment settings. This is really essential because this is defining how you're going to accept payments from your customers. So select your um, dollar figure here and then, uh, sorry, your currency, and then down here, select how you want to accept payments. For example, Stripe, Square, PayPal, so on, Stripe and PayPal, and so on. I'm gonna select PayPal here. You can also specify how, how clients pay when they're scheduling an appointment. Do they pay the full amount or just a deposit or is payment optional and they can pay it on the day instead? So that's that, those settings are completely up to you. With your PayPal settings here, if you have got, gone ahead with that one, then you can just type in your email address here, um, save those settings, and then when someone goes to pay on your site, they're going to be taken across to your PayPal account for payment. Um, if you're looking at, say, something like Stripe, then you will have to go through a process of connecting Stripe. So just click on that button and then follow through into your login details for Stripe, and Squarespace will step you through the process of connecting that. Great, all right, I'm just gonna leave this as PayPal for now for this example and save those settings. Now we're gonna go ahead and create an appointment type for your upcoming class. So click on appointment type and types, and you can see here we've got two options. The one you wanna use for online classes and events where you've got multiple people coming is this group class, new type of group class. So click on that one. And you can give your class a name. I'm going to give it monthly sound healing. This goes for 60 minutes and the price is $50. $50. Okay, make sure it's public and this is a club class or group event, and you can set the number of people who can attend this class as well. Then just click create appointment type. Now, the next thing that we'll need to do once that's created is actually offer the class up and put in a date and time for this class. Now, if I go back over to my events add-on within my site, I think the date for this particular event was um, was January the 5th here. So I'm going to offer class and then I'm offering this for, it's a fair way away, but uh, January the 5th. And then you can put the time in here, mine's 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Oops. You can also set it reoccurring. So say this is a monthly class and maybe I have it on the first of every month, um, on the fifth of every month, then you could set that up as reoccurring. I'm just actually gonna change this back to a date closer to today just for this example. So I'm just gonna put it there for now and save class. You can also add more, offer more classes here if they're not reoccurring, but you are offering, you know that you've got more upcoming dates for this particular class, you can go ahead and add more dates for that class as well. I'm just going to leave this as the one. The final thing you may want to look at is your email settings. This is where you can customize confirmation emails and reminder emails cancellation or rescheduling emails that go out to clients um, once they book and uh, as it gets closer to the online event. So these are things you might want to include things like what to expect or anything that they need to bring along, those kinds of things. Links to Zoom or things like that are really important for that as well.
So that's basically it. As I said, you may want to go through all of the other settings within here and have a look. It's worth worthwhile. But these are the very base settings that you'll need for taking bookings of this kind. So now we're going to go and add the booking form onto your Sound Healing Events page so that your customers can and clients can actually book. So you want to go here to scheduling page link and then scroll down and in this drop down box here, select the class that you just set up, then go to direct link and then copy this link. Now let's go over to your events page. And here's my monthly sound healing event. I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to scroll all the way down. This is all information about the event. I'm going to click on this little blue plus sign here and I'm going to type in an appointment to find this scheduling module here. In this drop down, I'm going to choose custom link and then I'm going to paste that link that we copied over in the scheduling page and click apply. Now, what you can see here is that the monthly sound healing appointment type class has now been added to this page. Let's go save. Now, if we look at this page, which is what the customers would see when they're coming here, here's how they buy their ticket. So they can set their time zone, they can select the class, and they can see how many spots are left. And then it's just a matter of them putting in their details and then selecting to pay. And obviously, because I set up my payment system as PayPal, that's the option there. But if um, you were using Stripe or something like that, they would have options to input their credit card details. I'm not going to fill this out now, obviously, because I'm not going to process the payment. But once they have done that, the booking comes through, you'll receive confirmation. They will also receive confirmation. Um, and you've started selling tickets to very easily to your online classes um, or your online events. Um, if you need help with anything that I have explained here today or you'd love to set this up but you just don't have the time, please reach out to me. I offer um, installations of the event uh, events add-on to existing Squarespace sites so you can get something that looks like this but with your branding already in your existing site. I also add I also offer a scheduling, Squarespace scheduling add-on as well, where I can come in and configure the scheduling tool for you. So please reach out, use the email at the bottom of this email if you would like more information on that.